Song, you know, obviously you knocked him down a couple of times in this fight, but in the fifth round, you were able to get it done and get him out of there. For you, what were the keys to being so successful on the feet? Uh,大家都知道这场比赛，你击倒他很多次，最后终终终于在第五回合你成功的呃KO了他。大家，我们我们想知道你的成功的秘诀是什么？这场比赛。嗯，I don't think there is no secret. Just work hard. No, my coach Uriah, he told me you you are great. He's good. No, so I work so hard. He knows. They all knows. Yeah, that's my secret. Well, obviously, you were great tonight. You, you were able to finish Ricky Simone. What did you believe he brought to this fight in terms of the stand-up? Okay, so I think he, I saw he, he gonna wrestle, wrestle me early in the first, first rounds, but he didn't. I think that's for his, that's his fault. But I'm ready for his wrestling. I work, I've been working in wrestling uh, every day with Danny, with Uriah, and uh, my... Um, my jiu-jitsu is also is good. I, before the camp started, I went to Austin, train with the best jiu-jitsu guys two weeks. Yeah, I feel very good. And obviously at Team Alpha Male, there's no shortage of talented wrestlers. How confident were you in your abilities to get up? Because as Michael Chiesa just said on the desk, he never really was able to hold you down on the canvas. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. He uh, said, uh, 呃，你觉得他摔跤怎么样 ？Mike Mike 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 Jia 在说他在训练的时候从来没有办法能摁得摁得住你。Who Mike Jia? Yeah, he was just complimenting you, saying that Ricky was never able to really hold you down on the canvas. Of course, my Jia is very good. So I just uh don't like use my grappling. I like knock people out. You that's why you just say that's left hook. Yeah, but my my grappling is also very good. I've been training with Tima Famayo. Such a six years, long time. And it's certainly paying off. You said you want to fight somebody in the top five. Why were those those particular names that stood out to you, like Marlon Vera? Yeah, uh, I, I, for, uh, our first fight, he did a great uh, decision. Yeah, he's uh, talking every day. <laughs> I'm tired with that. I, yeah, if he wants to fight rematch, I would love to, I like to do that. Yeah. Okay. We'll definitely watch the rematch. I also love how good your English is and the fact that you can also curse now for us in these interviews in English. I really appreciate that. Let's bring in your coach. Obviously, UFC Hall of Famer, still a training partner as well, Uriah Faber. Uriah, you fought Ricky Simone as well, but you've yeah. also seen, you know, the evolution of Song since he came to Sacramento. For you, what really was this experience like, watching him go out there and perform the way he did? I mean, it was amazing, and we have an awesome staff. You know, we talked about what to do before the fight, <laughs> talk with Danny and Marcus, and... Jeremy and and the whole thing was, uh, like I said, he's great. Ricky is very very good, and and honestly, Ricky's been evolving a lot. I mean, he's a different fighter from when I fought him, and we knew that. But Song, I said, the longer this fight goes, the skill is gonna sh is gonna be more and more apparent. And um, I told him, don't worry about the grappling. We're, we're, we're our grappling. If we want to get in a grappling match right now with Ricky, I feel confident there. Um, but. Song loves to knock people out. <laughs> he's got a knockout fetish. Yeah, he's certainly been talking to us about that this week. You know, in terms of the sky being the limit for Song, what do you foresee, not just in the near future, but in his future at the UFC? Well, I've been telling him this a long time now that I believe he's a champion. I mean, he's going to be setting all sorts of records. And, um, you know, the biggest thing that has been easy to fix is just him realizing that himself. And it's been through some hard, hard moments in the gym, some great conversations with our coaching staff and and being a guy that looks in, internally and, and tries to find um, ways to improve. So that's all the championship stuff that you can't teach. And then we're just trying to, you know, throw fuel on the fire. Well, certainly a great group of coaches and teammates as well there in Sacramento. Song, congratulations. We cannot wait to see who you're matched up with next and when you compete again. It is always such a pleasure to watch you perform. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.